it's Cena, a warthog princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This is a short one. It is all from the recent online outlet sale, and actually, I was really good. I did restrain myself for a change, um, but I do have about five items, so let's run through them. The first one is the 311 case, and this is our 311 cosmetic. This is in mini medallions. It is a clear plastic case all the way around. Sorry, I still have the dog hair. Um, and then it has three bottles that you can actually take out. I, I have one of these. Um, they are TSA compliant, so you could use that for, hence the name, your 311, um, all your little liquids and stuff. You take those three bottles out and you can fill this with a lot of other things. It actually has a surprisingly big capacity for a small item um, with a convenient hearing handle, which is great. But I bought this one actually to use as a mask holder on the go because they have a bunch of Vera masks and other masks. But um, Tucson, uh, the mayor announced that she's gonna make it mandatory for masks. I don't know how that's gonna go or what the rules are gonna be or whatever. Um, but if I'm in proximity with other people with our numbers spiking, I'm taking the precautions. So anyway, I just thought a, a small mask case on the go. And since I have two, I can have one for clean, one for dirty, or just clean here and dirty in a Ziploc. Um, yeah, so I don't need to take all of them out, but if I take a handful and I'm going to different places or something, anyway. So that was what I was thinking. And even if it weren't for masks, it doesn't hurt to have a spare for TSA when flying does start up again. Um, okay, so this is an accordion wristlet and the, it is denim gray. Let's see if it says anything else. Iconic RFID accordion wristlet, denim gray, yeah. Okay, and this is, I love the accordion wristlets by the way, but I bought this one specifically because I have gotten into lug and I don't have a Heather Gray wallet like this. Like I, the, the splits XL specifically I'm talking about. And it is different than this, but very similar. And anyways, they don't have any in Heather Gray or anything close. They really only have Camo Orchid available. And I'm hoping they're gonna come out with some more soon, but not as of yet. Anyway, I thought this would go nicely with the Heather Gray. And I just thought it was pretty. Okay, it's embroidered, so I don't know about the longevity of the embroidery. I just always, in my experience, have embroidery starts to, you know, the threads start to get loose and over time, long, you know, we'll see. But I, I, it's a great little piece and it's quilted. This is different than my other accordions. They all have a little bit of cushion to them, but this one, it has more. It's almost like more pillowy, um, yeah. And the accordion wristlets do have like semi-rigid structure to them. And I say semi because, you know, I mean, you can actually, they're pretty flimsy. It's just the structure of the layers that kind of gives it structure. Obviously when you have things inside of it, that gives it more structure as well. But I kind of like that it has a little bit of give to it. Um, it's not slouchy at all. It's just, it's just nice. It has a removable wristlet strap. This is a faux leather gray. And that is, it just feels broken in. This just feels nice, like a good pair of jeans that just feels comfortable already. Okay, but one zipper section and one slip pocket. So there's a slip pocket. You can put your phone here. It fits even my big phone really nicely, but obviously that's not secure. So if you're not holding onto it like that, you know, I certainly wouldn't swing around, even though my phone fits snugly, it, I just wouldn't. But the phone fits very nicely inside the wallet and it zips up very easily. I have many of these, that's why I bought them. So that I could have my grab and go and put my phone inside so I can be one-handed. Um, but it, these are great little wallets. So you have one big slip back here, like your dollars, for example, or your receipts. And then you have two slip pocket, two card slots here and two card slots here. And then on the opposite, you have a clear ID window. You have this divider right here, but the divider actually has a divider. <laughs> so you have extra space right there in the middle. And then you have another section here. That's just a uh, scent strip in there. Um, actually, let me take that out because we'll look at the pattern. Then you have your zipper pocket, you know, for your coins or whatever. And then you have the back wall, which is a mirror of the front wall. So you have your big slip and you have four card slots in front. And it is an RFID wallet, so there's your card telling you that. Um, but yeah, so this pattern inside is really interesting. It's sort of a digitized flower and leaf and sort of like a stemmy flower, leafy vine or something, um, but it's nice. 
you know um, the flowers kind of ties it to the outside we have those nice embroidered flowers and the greens and pinks and then the greens and pinks with the blue the blue gray blue gray leaf on there anyways it works and it matches so it's all good all right so that is the accordion bracelet oops wrong end. all right next is another bracelet this one is different um, and I did discover something as I was just looking at it as I unwrapped it um, this one oops where's the tag this one is RFID beach wristlet in sure thing oh god I know it's doggy so this one is denim as well it's a darker denim um, more like a blue jean but it's like a dark blue like a navy blue and on the front it is embroidered it has your coral three different pieces and then a nice anchor and the ropes I just thought this would be perfect for my cruising stuff um, you know you want to go around the ship and maybe only you need your card a few dollars for tipping and your phone but it allows you to keep it all together and you can throw that in your bag to go to the pool and whatever so it just gives you some options it has a really nice feel to it again it's like your comfortable jeans no pockets on the outside. This is not accordion, but it is similar, like a simplified. You have one big slot in the back, nice big space in the middle. You have this piece right in the middle, which we'll come back to. I didn't realize it came out. I accidentally found that out. Um, and then you have the big slip in the back. So two big slips and a big middle is, is all that you have here. Very, very simple. And again, your phone fits in all three parts of that. So you can fit it in the smaller sections, both sides. Yeah, so this middle piece, this is kind of cool because you could just take just this out to do things. Um, it has a zipper pocket in the middle, so your coins or <laughs> your tag, whatever else you wanna put in there. Uh, I wonder, yeah, no, <laughs> it does not fit in there. Um, but you have six card slots, three on each side, three here and three here. And this is a really pretty pattern with just blues, shades of blue and white with the shells, different shells. So very seashore-y or water-related. Um, and then it has a little tag on the, the one side. So you can put that in. You can put it facing either way. Now, for me, I would put the card slots facing forward because that's me. Is when I open it up, I'm right-handed, I'll unzip it, and bam, there's my cards. That makes sense. Okay, but that's the wristlet. The strap, the wristlet strap is removable, and the zipper pull is a loop one. Both of those are faux leather in like a tan. Yeah, just tan. All right, next item. I got the mini satchel, and it's black. This is a velvety piece, super, super soft velvety. For some reason, this is not as, it's, it's, it's not the same as my navy blue stuff that I got a while back, like my Hadley backpack and my Carson's. It, it's super soft, it's just, it just seems to me like not quite the same. It's great, it's fine. But here's the thing. So this little piece, I mean, it's just an adorable little purse. And I did get it for myself, but I might end up giving it to one of my nieces because it's just a perfect little girl's bag. I'm a big girl, but it's also good for me. So it's just kind of funny. It's one of those crossover pieces. But it's the basic size and configuration of the travel tapes case on the retail side. Hi, Kelly. Come on. Come on. Yeah. She wants to come put white hair all over everything and get more of it in my nose again. Oh, yeah. God, I know. Okay. Come on. Good girl. Oh, cool. Okay, no, she's not. She went in the pool today, so she has a little less shedding, but. Um, anyway, so this, the difference between the travel tapes case and this bag, both have a pocket right in the front, both have a zipper closure, very simple, no pockets on the back, cute little straps. But this, unlike the travel tapes case, has a removable, adjustable, wait, is it adjustable? Yes. <laughs> removable, adjustable, crossbody, or shoulder strap which I would love on that little travel takes case too. So there you go. It's like, it is literally a mini satchel. Now inside is also very, very simple. It has just a barrel shaped bag and it, it has a pseudo, not even semi, I would say pseudo, 
pseudo semi rigid bottom. There's something in there that gives it some structure on that bottom. But when it arrived, it was folded in half. So you're really gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some shaping on that, but it'll be fine. Inside you have, on the back, you have a privacy zipper pocket. And on the front, you have one big slip pocket across the whole bag. Now the phone does fit in that pocket. But look at the thing about it. See, see how that lining is so far drooped away from the side of the bag? This interior is really not tacked in at all. So as I try to pull my phone out, it like this lining, it doesn't pull itself inside out, but it's just really loose all up in the bag. It's tacked in in the corners, but like you can grab this and really, I don't like that. I want it to be like part of the bag. I mean, it doesn't have to be quilted, which would be awesome, but anyways, it's sort of strange. But it almost is like this, makes this pocket really like loose away from the wall. But it does allow us to look a little bit closer at the pattern. <laughs> so it's just pink flowers with these, is that green? Yeah, it's like, it's green and black. The like leaves and stones in between. But it's pretty. It matches, I mean, it's a black exterior, so it goes really nicely. Anyway, so that is the mini satchel. And the next thing, which is the last item for this haul, is the Cozy Throw. And this one, oh, what is the name of this one? Let me flip this tag over. The Cozy Life Throw Blanket in Berry Mary. Well, that's a really helpful name. Because if you ask for Berry Mary, there's like five different blankets you could get. But this one is the slight blue color. So it's like an icy blue, I, is the way I look at it. And it has the beautiful bears, like your Coca-Cola bears. They're not Coca-Cola, they're very badly, but they do remind me of Coca-Cola. Um, it also has bunnies on it. So there's a bunny right there, for example. It has pine trees, and then look, you, you really, you have other critters. So here's another bunny right there. And look, you have an Arctic, Arctic fox right there with his little tail. Um, so it's fun. Oh, look, there's another bunny on the front running along. So it's this whole winter scenery thing with winter critters, not just polar bears. And I didn't realize that until it got here today. But I like it with the pops of the red as well. And this is the Cozy Life Throw. So it's the beautiful, soft, cozy one side. And then that wonderful Sherpa that you can just grab a hold of that coziness. I just love these blankets. So. I don't know if this will be a gift or not, but I'm just gonna leave it wrapped just in case I decide to go that way. But in any case, until I use it one way or another, it'll stay in the bag, but I'll add it to the stack of blankets. I just, I can't stop myself from getting more because they're so amazing. All right, so uh, that's it for this one. And I hope you're doing well. If you didn't watch my last video, that was a cyclic bounding syndrome auction. I'll put a link up here, it goes to the side just in case you're interested in watching that and you didn't catch it. Um, and uh, thanks again to Brad Spate for that set of donations. But take care, stay safe, and washy washy. Bye for now.